at this point, is there anybody left that didn't expect the Netflix live action One Piece to be complete garbage? First of all, thanks to this garbage live action, I already got spoilers. I had no idea who Nojiko is. Apparently, she's the adopted sister of Nami. She is white, but she is tanned. So, of course, Netflix says, Oh my god, that's a black person. Because we all know Trump is black. Extra black, because he's extra tanned. So, apparently, America attacked a black guy all this time. A very black guy. But before we talk more about the Netflix live action, let's talk a little about the elephant in the room. They always say, Oh, what's the problem if it's black? Are you racist? Well, what if we replace some people in Black Panther with white people? Will you still be the one saying that, Oh, what's the problem? I don't see no problem. He's an actor. Now, every time we see a movie or a game or a TV show or a cartoon, it has to have a black person. But if they already had the black person or even more black people, call the LGBTQ fast. We must add at least one person with identity issues. Speaking of identity issues, look at the cast. They all have their pronouns in their bio because they must prove they are brain damaged. It's like having a children's book and uh, saying, well, he's a man, so you call him he, him, he's also a man, so you call him he, him, she's a woman, so you call her a victim. First of all, I have no issue if I know somebody in real life and they want me to call him she or whatever. As long as they are nice, I will do it. I will call them whatever they want. Even poopsicans. But whenever I see these brain-dead uh, movie stars or famous people, whatever they want to be called, insisting that they want their pronouns in their bio, that just tells me that you have brain damage. First of all, let's be real. They don't give a shit. They do this because you must respect the current thing. But they don't actually care. How many of these idiots actors do you think when they meet other people they say, well, uh, my pronouns are he, him, she, her. What is your pronoun? Because I bet you they don't care. They do this because just like in China, they just want some social points. And just like China, if you don't have enough social points, you will not have work anymore. Because at the end of the day, you don't care how bad the TV show is or the movie. Because you still get paid. And as long as you have the social points up, you will get more jobs. Anyway, let's talk a little about One Piece. They already show characters I don't know. And I saw over half of the anime. If you know One Piece even a little, it's almost impossible to make a story so huge in just a TV show. An anime episode is close to 20 minutes and they already reached 1000 episodes. Let's say they rush things a little. And let's say they make an episode 60 minutes. That's still a lot of stuff that you must keep. And you still need at least 300 episodes to make some character building. And some world building. And to have a story that makes sense. Anyway, let's be real, they don't care about anime. I bet they didn't even saw one episode of One Piece. And in case you didn't expect this, the garbage that was in Cowboy Bebop will come over to One Piece. The live actions, of course. More exactly, the executive producers. We all know how great that was, so good job keeping the same executive producers. I'm pretty sure they will reach a new level of garbage. Because, of course they do, they have pronouns in their bio. That means they are too brain damaged to do anything except garbage. Well, even garbage can sometimes produce something useful, but uh, not these ones. Good job, Netflix. Can't wait to see you go bankrupt.